welcome back. It's Melissa. I'm actually in the last few stages of packing for a trip that I'm going on. So I wanted to show you all the things I'm going to take with me. So I have a carry on only approach to travel. I never check bags unless absolutely necessary as far as like bringing something special back with me. But I never check a bag when I'm en route to another city. Uh, I just think that it, there's no need for anything besides the core items of what you need and honestly one of my core items is my makeup and skincare and body stuff and all that. So I just make sure that I have what I really need with me so that way my life can go on as normal in a new place and that kind of just frees me up from concern about like how I look or how I feel or you know needing to go buy this small thing for a euro or whatever it is like as long as it's super seamless and literally everything I need, everybody is gonna have a good time. <laughs> so let's begin, we'll start with hair. When I style my hair, I typically uh, wear it, style it naturally. So I'll like, wash it, twist it, let it out, or wash it and wash it go kind of jam. And even though it looks pretty carefree, it actually is a lot of work to do. So I do carry things with me that allow me to feel comfortable with doing something a little bit more adventurous like swimming or swimming's not adventurous but you know what i'm saying <laughs> but like going into the ocean or if i go to a crazy party and there's like foam and smoke and all this kind of stuff like i don't want to feel like i can't enjoy myself because i'm worried about what how the hell i'm going to get the products i need to take care of my hair especially where i'm going which is another country so these are three things that I always am using. It's my Eternally in Amber hair pick, grapeseed oil, and then the olive oil, the ORS olive oil. This is to like hydrate my hair. And then I'm not taking a shampoo, but I am going to take a conditioner and a deep conditioner. Conditioner co-wash, deep conditioner to restore moisture. I have the Aribe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Conditioner. I actually love this stuff. I had the entire set and got rid of it because I thought I was allergic, but it's just a shampoo. So I gotta go back and buy the uh, big version of this to keep with me because it is spectacular. So taking that, and then this is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I bought this travel size one and I actually love it. So I'm gonna keep it uh, in my regimen potentially, but I definitely like traveling with it too because I'm like, I know it's an ace in the hole, so I keep it with me. So that's it for hair, and then when it comes to my skincare, I usually take a cleanser, moisturizers, uh, and at least one, like at least two of these masks are like skincare wipes that I have, but then the other ones are just extra just because I feel like being that way this time. So in order to cleanse my face, I have these two guys. This is the fresh soy face cleanser and then I have the cleanse by Lauren Napier or Lauren Napier uh, black owned female owned business with spectacular and quality product this stuff is so good so this is going to be to cleanse my face this is going to be to take off makeup and then um, I actually bought the soy the fresh stuff in a set so I was like, ooh, travel size, duh, because I always get this. However, I have Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and I might just stick with this guy because it's also a little bit of a primer. But this travel size fresh is the Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex. We'll see what I decide, but I think that it literally is just gonna be like if they both if they both fit, then they can both go. Um, for extra hydration, I have the ordinary hyaluronic acid. And then I have my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I have a large size of this I use every day, so I'll take, uh, that's why I have the small one, because I actually love it. And it is great for my skin. And then for some extra treats, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. This is a 15 minute mask. It's dry, and you can use it actually at least three times, maybe even five, depending on your life and your, what your skin needs and stuff like that, but in your budget and all that. I buy the four pack now, just cause I know I'm gonna use them all the time. This one I'm actually gonna use on the plane, like probably right before we land. Um, just because it truly like super moisturizing, very brightening, it is perfection in a little sheet. So these are coming for sure. 
These are coming. I'm so excited to have them. This is the KNC Beauty All Natural Retinol Infused Eye Mask. I've only had these for a couple of weeks and literally eat, I bought like a five pack of them. Every single time I use it, my under eye area, just my skin in general, because you know how you kind of clear everything everywhere. Everything just looks so much better and it's a spectacular product. So these guys are coming to me and they're super cute. They look like a little shooting star or something like that uh, underneath the eye. And then this one may or may not make it. This is my Patch Allergy Smart, Mo Smart Mud Mask and it detoxes um, and eliminates impurities. However, I used it today when I, I washed my hair and twisted it. This is how I'm going to wear my hair during the airport and probably the first day while I'm in Europe, but then take it down. Um, but I did it while I was under the dryer, so I'm kind of like, I don't know if I need to do it again anytime soon because my skin is not too reckless, so it would be a little bit extra to have it. We'll see. Uh, for my body, I use the Lush Charity Pot. I always use Lush Charity Pot. I have a big one. This is the one, that's, that's why everything's rubbed off of it. Um, I just wash this one every time I get home and refill it when it's empty. Um, so I'll be using that all over my body. And then for makeup, I have my base, my color stuff, my eyes, and my lips. So I use the Smashbox Primer Water. This is what I use actually at the end. It does me really well, it keeps things in place. All day, I have a large one, and so the small one. Um, the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. I love this, I've only had it for a couple of days, but it's kind of like I've been looking for a CC cream or a BB cream for my skin complexion that doesn't feel too much like makeup. This is buildable, and I've had a lot of fun with it. So if I didn't have it, it would just not be with me, but I do have it, and I've enjoyed it in the last couple of days, so it's coming with me. And then to conceal, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer medium dark for hazelnut i use this every day as well but i just bought the small one because i was at sephora and i'm running out of the other one anyway so i was like let me just buy this real quick and then i'll buy a big one when i get back for my face i have bobby brown bronzing powder in deep use this been using it use it every day i have these actually these four things i'm gonna talk about i use every day um Black Up number nine. This is my blush. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, the Hourglass. This is my all over powder radiant. Uh, the Ambient Light Radiance. This guy. This is the miniature one. And this is all I need because I don't use powder that like I use it every day, but I'm not using it that crazily. So this is actually probably gonna last me a while. And then I have the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and. Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I only use Ginger Binge. I uh, hope that they come out with a single because this is literally the perfect amount all the time. So taking these guys and then my Cabral has the pencil, um, the brow brush in it. So that's easy to keep together. This is number five. And then for my eyes, I use the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base just for not only longevity but just to make the pigment more the uh, more pigmented make the color more pigmented so use this and then i actually have the vizier advisor uh palette is the theory 2 minx pack and this i've figured out three eye looks with it it's only six colors and it's actually pretty pretty substantial for me so and it's so small you can literally like my little pocket right here and watch you can go right there so super easy to pack and take with me and super handy for lips I have two glosses I have the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine 1993 and the Hot Buxom Hot Toddy this is something is I'm actually almost out of it so I'll probably throw it out while I'm there but I'm gonna buy another one. I'll get back. I love this stuff. So this is dope. Um, lipstick wise, I'm taking my YSL 201. This is more like an orangey red. I have Lancome Cream de Marron. This is like a peachy neutral color. I use it with and without a liner, and it's so dope. I have the Pat McGrath Elson number three is more like a classic red, so that's why I have two because the one 
orangey, orange classic. I have lime crime butterscotch. I'm like a, this is like an in-betweensy. It's called a plushy, but it's like a liquid lip. Just not as it is pigmented, but not like deeply pigmented. I love it. Super handy for every day. And then I have the Oh my god. Oh, Kat Von D, sorry. Kat Von D Hawkwind lipstick, liquid lipstick. Pretty solid. And then I have three liners. I have this one that every woman my complexion has. I cannot think of the name of it to save my life because it's rubbed off. And then I have the um, burgundy and cherry uh, lip liners as well. Other than that, uh, for eyes outside of my palette i have the maybelline unstoppable eyeliner and onyx and then i have a dilemma with these two so this is the lancome monsieur big i use this every day i love it this is the milk kush and i really don't know if i'll be able to get to the airport or through the airport because it has cbd oil in it i don't think it's significant enough that any animal will like bark at me but if it is then i'll be sol but you gotta do one tough thing a day to maintain your gangsta. So we'll see. I'll probably take it with me. Uh, for tools, I have my ELF 101 brush. This is for the ambient light. I have my uh, Real Techniques blush brush. I use this for highlighter. Uh, this is the Real Techniques powder brush for bronzer. And I have the MAC 168 blush brush. I have this guy I've had since high school, just for my eyebrows and everything. This is the Real Techniques 201. I actually use this to smudge my liner and to use like a dark color at the base. And then I can take all the other colors and kind of get a little bit close underneath the eye. It's something I made up. I'm, there's probably better brushes for that, but I love it. And then I have the Laura Mercier Ponytail Brush. So this is going to be all over increase, spectacular. And then I have my Beauty Blender. So those guys are going to come with me, and this is especially since I have the uh, skin and body, face and body foundation. Other tools, I think I just, I think I mentioned my mirror, I don't know. I'm taking my mirror and my nail file, and then this is going to be so that I can get a little bit deeper with the uh, cleanser, since I don't have a full-on like makeup remover besides my wipe. So I'll probably put this on, scrub, 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 rinse, rinse, rinse. Wipe, 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 moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. So that sounds like a solid plan to me. I have my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm, spectacular. I had it now underneath my hot toddy, but this is amazing. And then for nails, just in case, I have the Pinch Provisions Nail Polish Remover. I take two of these because they pretty work pretty well uh, in case I need them. And then I always carry the color that I use on my nails with me just to touch them up. I currently have on Peaceful Paranoia, which is this color by Smith & Colt, but I might actually just take my Ghost Edit, like redo my nails and do Ghost Edit instead, just because it's a more neutral color, uh, like a nail, like a natural nail base. Um, for other little toiletries, I have my Atelier Cologne Vanilla Insense, Insense? Cologne. This is my second travel size one, so I'm gonna buy the big one and probably just keep travel sizes for when I travel or slash my purse and bag. I have my Caudalie hand and nail cream. These are awesome. I keep two, one in my bedroom, one in my bag, so I had to get a fresh one just in time for the trip. I have the Aesop Resurrection Rinse-Free Hand Wash. This smells really good. There's a little bit of oil in it too, so that way it doesn't dry your hands out legit shit right here. <laughs> I have poopery because I'm sharing a room and that's just the kind thing to do. I have just like a travel deodorant secret and then I have Advil. I don't really take any kind of pills even when I need them so I'll just have it with me. And finally for the bags I have two of them. I think these are called the all the small things, all your small things bags. So a smaller one, this is what I'm gonna put my liquids into. And then this is what I'm gonna put my dry and brushes and stuff into. And I have this one for my mask and all the little wipes and stuff like that. So 
those are the three things and then i feel like i'm prepared for my trip i'm really excited i always have so much fun when i travel and um if i find anything fun i'll bring it back and show you guys well in europe if there's something that i want to try in my life so i'll bring it back and i'm super excited so thank you for watching if you want any tips about packing and traveling feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on facebook not facebook or instagram or twitter at melissa billions and i'll see you guys soon bon voyage oops bon journey to myself anybody else out there who's hitting the road see you guys next time